Hello everyone, welcome to Austin channel. My name is Peter. In this video, I will be working on this uh, BMW M5. Uh, in the video, I will show you full process of leather restoration uh, when it comes to this car. So if you are interested in this aspect, watch this video. So let's have a look at the condition of the seats first. So as you can see, the condition of it is maybe the best, but for 26 year old car, that leather is still in very good order. Uh, for restoration process is sort of perfect. Cause like I, I expect really nice outcome from that leather. Uh, I got the car for full job. So we will be doing paint correction on it, ceramic coating, uh, also the leather restoration. So I have this car for over a week. Uh, I'll show you the final results of everything. But in this video, I will concentrate mainly on the leather restoration. So let's just have a quick look on the condition of the paint. So for the leather restoration, obviously I have to remove seats from the car. So we have the seats out from the car. Let's have a look properly at the condition of them. So overall, when we look at them, uh, they're in quite poor condition. There's nothing we can do uh, by cleaning or conditioning that will do nothing to them in this case. Uh, but they are in perfect condition for restoration. They, there's no holes, there's no rips in them. All we have is this standard wear and tear. There's paint missing here and there. We have some creases. Uh, but in this case, we can actually easily deal with that. We might need some filler for that, especially for the deepest creases. Uh, but the fact that this leather has smooth finish, there is no grain in that. We can actually remove most of them just with sanding. The very first step I always do when it comes to leather restoration is I give the leather good clean. So I deal with the clean surface after when it comes to further stages. For cleaning the leather, I'll be using this product, Gaist uh, Rapid Leather and Vinyl Cleaner Pro. This cleaner is a strong cleaner for leather. So where I use this product mainly is before restoration or for cleaning very dirty leather. So next step after cleaning will be sanding. Uh, for sanding, I'm going to use 400 gradation sanding pads. Uh, mainly I want to concentrate on the places where we have kind of deeper creases. I want to reduce them as much as possible. Uh, but then again, I have to kind of sand all the surface to create better grip for the new paint. <laughs> 
There is one very important thing when it comes to sanding. Uh, what we need, want to avoid is uh, sanding the stitching. Uh, stitching is very easily damaged. So if we go over the stitching a couple of times, we could actually damage it. And then we would have to send the seat to trimmer to get that repaired. When it comes to sanding the leather, we can do most of the job with dry sanding, but when it comes to reducing creases like this, it's actually better sometimes, especially if you have smooth leather with no grain, we can use a sanding pad with a solvent cleaner. This will speed up the job big time. So if you do it this way, you won't have to use as much filler as uh, if we didn't do that and the finish will be far better. So I have the leather sanded, uh, now I'm just going to blow off any kind of dust that could be there, especially from the joints. Uh, and after that I will uh, degrease the surface and we'll wipe it off again with the solvent cleaner. So the leather got sanded, uh, I degreased the leather, dried well, now I'm going to apply leather filler. It takes about half an hour for the filler to dry, uh, so I'm going to leave it now for half an hour, then I'm going to sand it down, degrease it again, uh, dry it really well, and uh, then I'm going to spray the color. So the color is fully sprayed. The next step is I'm going to leave it till next day and I'm going to spray the top coat on the leather. Uh, to get the most uh, optimal finish on the leather, what we need to mix is 70% of top coat matte and 30% of top coat gloss and also three to 5% of hardener. And this way, if we mix the top coat like that, we'll get sort of the most natural finish on the leather. So 
let's have a look at the seats before and after. So as you can see, there's major transformation on these seats. Uh, the thing that these days, uh, it's very hard to get seats like that in good condition. Uh, I think the owner should be very happy with them. The seats look excellent, but uh, what we can improve in the job is we can check whether the surface is nice and smooth. If there is any sort of roughness on the leather, what we can do, we can use 4000 sanding pad and we can sand the leather gently. So now the leather is very nice in touch, it's uh, nearly the same as a uh, factory finish. So the last thing I'm going to do with the seats is uh, I'm going to apply conditioner. Uh, however, they're going back to the car very soon. I'm going to wait till tomorrow and I'll apply conditioner on the seats. It is kind of important to do that as well after restoration as uh, we want to restore the features of leather as well to get back the proper softness of the leather. So this is everything in this video, I hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding leather restoration, comment below. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe my channel so you, you won't miss any videos that I'm going to publish in the future. And see you on the next one.